If you are going to study in the United Kingdom, you already know you are going to need proof of funds, right? But in Germany, they have gone two steps ahead. What they require you to have is what they call a blocked account. Now, what is that? Well, setting up a blocked account for your free education in Germany can look really complex. So today, this is why I'm making this video to guide you step by step. So make sure you watch this video till the very, very end. This is part two in the free education in Germany series. In part one of this series, I explained in details how exactly the free education scheme works in Germany for all degrees, including undergraduates, masters, and even PhD. And yes, they are looking for international students like you. If you are yet to watch that video, head over to it right now and watch it. Then come back to join us on how to create and set up your blocked account. My name is E to the M to the D to the double E M D Tiamiu. And this is your number one YouTube channel where you find top quality information regarding fellowships, scholarships, Japa ships and experiences that help you discover Africa abroad. In case you're new to this channel, that's beautiful. Welcome home. And if you're a returning subscriber, you've been here before, you've seen this face a number of times. Welcome back. Today's video is powered by Amber Student, one of the largest student accommodation platforms in the world. They have over 16,000 properties listed in across 100 cities. I am not kidding. With Amber Student, you get your accommodation sorted even before you lift your travel box. This is 2023. We do not need students being stranded, students sleeping in train stations and all of that. Please head over to the Ambassador Accommodation website using the link in the description and book for yourself a befitting accommodation in three simple steps. The best part of the Ambassador deal for me is that in case anything goes south and you don't get to begin your education, you don't get to travel, Amber Student is able to refund 100% of your money back. So why not go try it today? Without further ado guys, let's get to business. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. To begin with, why exactly is this blocked account thingy necessary? Essentially, let's just say that the government of Germany wants to confirm that when you arrive in their country for your free education, you are not going to pour sand sand into their gari. You are going to be able to take care of yourself while you study at your study, right? Because usually people want to move abroad and disguise as students. So they want to be sure that you are here to study and you'll be able to do that very easily. So how does it work? You are not just going to go and print bank statements like in the case of the United Kingdom. No, they have provided a couple of government approved financial institutions, which I'll mention in just a minute. This is the organization, anyone you choose that you send your money to, they're going to secure the money for you and issue you a confirmation. With this confirmation in your hand, you would be able to now apply for your visa. Now you're wondering, if I send them my money, what happens? Is all of my money gone just like that? No, that's not the case. Your money is secured. When you get into Germany, you will need to go and unblock yeah you know it's blocked accounts you need to go and activate your blocked account which is like unblocking it you provide your german address your university registration your visa that was stamped to confirm that you are in the country and a couple of other things including your checking account a german bank account where you are going to be getting your living expenses every month so all of the money you have paid into your blocked account will be returned back to you every other month remember back in the days when you were in the hostel all right when your parents would give the housemaster some money to keep and every monday housemaster will give you five shillings or 200 naira just to last you for the week that's exactly how this blocked account thingy works for germany 
Now, as we're getting real with all of this, there are a couple of very important things to note, and I'll give you about five of them. The very first one is, every first year student coming to study in Germany needs a blocked account, regardless of the degree you're coming to study, whether it's undergraduate, a master's or PhD, all right? So for your first year, you need to show a blocked account of your living expenses for that first year. Dolini. Now, the second one is that for your second year or third or subsequent years, you may usually get a waiver. That is, the schools may not need you to show a blocked account for year two, year three, year four, or whatever number of years it will take you to finish your education. And this is based on the assumption that, okay, the thing after one year in Germany, you have already settled in, why stress you? You probably already have a side hustle or a job that's able to sustain you while you study. However, some schools and some states will still insist that you show blocked accounts for you to be able to progress with your education. If that is the case, that's not a problem. You can easily just extend your blocked account that you have already set up for your year one. You only need to just send a request to your provider and then send the money into that same account. And then they will generate another confirmation for you to submit for your year two, year three, year four, or blah, blah, blah. Number three, don't try to play smart. People who are fraudulent and try to circumvent the system and want to do wow, 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 they don't usually go far. They get prosecuted and even get deported. And this is not what you want for yourself. That is why you have this channel explaining to you the easy and the legal way to go about these things. So do not think you can find a shortcut to this. The government of Germany has set out this simple process of how the blocked account works. And here we are explaining it to you. So don't jump the gun. Number four, is that you can actually get all of this blocked account thingy done entirely online. All you need to do is sign up and the process of transferring the money to the blocked account in Germany is actually smooth and easy. I'm going to get to the details in just a moment. Number five is that please read terms and conditions. For all of these providers, they do have a fee here, a fee there for the service they are rendering you. Make sure you read most part of the terms and conditions. I know terms and conditions are usually very verbose and long. They will hide it in tiny little things, but the ones I'm going to recommend to you have made it easy for you, but still make sure you sense check stuff. An extra and final thing to note is you want to make sure you tidy this blocked account process up at least three weeks before your visa appointment. This is to give you the rest of mind that you deserve and make sure the money has arrived, everything is sorted before you show up for your visa, all right? Now, there are a number of blocked account providers in Germany, with some of the most popular ones being one, Expatrio, second, Coracle, and the third one is called Fintiba. Now, all of them will charge you some sign-up fee when you're registering for your blocked account to set it up. They would also charge you some monthly recurrent service charge, which is them maintaining your blocked account and doing all of the administration for you. How much do they charge? Which one should you choose? Is a subject for another video, all right? But for now, all you need to know is they are all government approved and a lot of people choose them because they offer these services in English. For most of them, they're able to deliver your confirmation for your blocked account in a couple of days. Some of them even have testimonies of delivering confirmation the same day or the next day. So as soon as you move your money to them, they get it on their end, they issue you the confirmation and that's it. None of them has paid me for this video. So I'm just stating things as they are. I am aware that some of them actually offer you extra things like medical insurance and travel insurance and blah, 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 just to, you know, win you over to use them as your blocked account provider. I understand that the competition is actually making them, you know, to go ahead of each other and offer you a better service. All right. But that's about it. Let's now move to the step by step on how you process this blocked account. Step number one is to register your email with any of the blocked account providers 
I mentioned previously. Go to their website and provide your email. That's step number one. Step number two, you check your inbox and confirm your email and then begin to set up. At this point, they will need you to pay a sign-up fee. Remember, the sign-up fees vary. Whichever one you choose, you do not need to choose two. You only need one provider for your blocked account. Step number three is you have to fill up the forms. They will ask you how much you want to put into your blocked account depending on what the government requirement is at the moment you put the figures and it's going to calculate how much that would be in a year on top of their own extra charges and blah 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 and then they'll give you a final figure step number four is that you need to put the equivalent of that money in your local currency whether you are in uganda syria low nigeria kenya whatever money you spend in your country put the equivalent of that money that you have calculated on the platform into your local bank account. The provider you are using will give you a German international bank account that you can provide to your account managers in your country and they'll move the money over to them. Step number five, which is the easiest, is the money hits their account in Germany, they confirm it and then they send you a confirmation letter. It's actually pretty straightforward. You should not really run into any issues with this. All you just need to do is follow it step by step. If you need clarity regarding your fellowship, jackpotship, study abroad or scholarship plans, please feel free to book a session with me for either 30 minutes or 60 minutes. The links to do that will be in the description below. I can also help you rework your CV or review your personal statements before you submit it to that university. In other videos in this series, we are going to be looking about how to secure admission in Germany which of these blocked account providers are better and which one do I recommend? We are also going to look at how to get a job as an international student living in Germany. But until next time, you have a right to be motivated. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found